Tim here from TMR Customs. Just an update on our shop Jeep JK one ton swap. We've got the 14 bolt axle here. It's had our truss kit installed on it. That's been put under the Jeep. We've cycled it, tested the suspension clearances. We don't have any interference on full bump or full droop. So the axle's out now and we're gonna do the final welding on the truss kit itself. Just wanna go over a couple reasons why you choose this rear 14 bolt and help you guys make sure you pick the right one when you go to the pick and pull or yard. So first up, it's from 1999 to 2006, GM or Chevy, 2,500 or 3,500 trucks. You wanna make sure it's a single rear wheel axle, not a dually. Other highlights include a 10 and a half inch ring gear. It's a full floater. And easy way to identify it is 14 bolts on the diff cover and six bolts with a removable pinion. You're probably looking at this guy wondering why we've got 15 bolts on that diff cover. It's got one of our shave kits installed. So if you're putting one of these in a Jeep, you might want to consider one of those kits. It saves you an inch and three quarter ground clearance, basically equivalent of running a 44 inch tire over a 40 inch tire. Two other points you want to look at are three and a half inch axle tube diameters. And a nice feature about this axle as opposed to the older first gen 14 bolts, this diff has disc brakes and a parking brake. So it makes it a perfect swap candidate for your Jeep Wrangler. 